Hi there, and welcome to Dumpster PC's Motherboard MOSFET Cooling How-To. In front of us here, we've got Gigabyte's 990FXA D3 motherboard. Their low-end 990FX motherboard. And you can see that it's a low-end motherboard because here is the VRM section of the board and it has no heat sinking on the MOSFETs. So in this how-to guide, we're going to look at making some heat sinks to fit these MOSFETs. Now you could buy some heat sinks. There's a company called Enzotech that makes an MST88 heatsink that would work with a motherboard like this. The 88 because between these two screw holes for the heatsink, it's 88 millimeters. Now we could have just bought that heatsink that I mentioned, but apart from the fact that it's hard to get outside of the US, it also costs roughly the same amount of money that was the difference between this low-end motherboard and the UD3 version that did have heat sinking on the MOSFETs. So we're going to look at creating our own with a heat sink that we've got just squirreled away in a box here. This heat sink here came from a socket 7 system that was passively cooled and we're going to attempt to retrofit this onto these MOSFETs here. Now the first thing you've got to do is to create yourself a mould. We know that the screws are 88 millimeters apart and we could just have a completely vertical block of heatsink but there aren't very many components around these MOSFETs so let's see if we can do a little bit better create a bit more surface area to cool these MOSFETs down. Now one thing we could do is take some heatsink off to the left and so I've got a cardboard cutout here that could do just that. If we were to create a heatsink in an L-shaped fashion like this, that would get us a little bit more surface area than what we could do with a straight part that would end about there. So that's one option. A second option is we could try and put heat sinking everywhere that we can here. So we could get it much larger surface area and we would have to do more work to actually create a heat sink that would fit here but that could be a second possibility. So out of these two either this one or this cardboard cutout. We're going to create something that'll work to cool the MOSFETs of this motherboard down. So this is part one where I'm sharing, I'm sharing with you the preparation. In part two I'll show you the heat sink as it's been cut and then we'll attach it. So tune in next time to see what I've come up with with just some simple tools and this heat sink that I've sal salvaged from a Socket 7 system. Thanks for watching.